Max Lakato here from my home to yours, from my heart to yours, wondering if I can have a word with you frontline workers. Hello doctor, hello nurse, hello med tech, hello assistant. Any chance that I could get your attention for just a few minutes? I'll be brief. I promise I will. It's not that I don't have time. The truth is I've got time thanks to you. You're the one with no time. You're the one with no margin. You're the one with no sleep. You're the one who spent Christmas making the rounds. You're the one who spent New Year's Eve admitting patience. You're the one who deserves a medal. You're the one who deserves a ticker tape parade, a six month vacation in the tropics. But that's not coming, is it? Another surge, that's what is coming. They say January is going to be the worst month yet. They're telling folks like me to stay home. Well, I bet you wish someone would tell you to stay home. But they don't. They won't. Hospitals are overrun. Staffs are overworked. Budgets are overspent. And my thanks, our thanks to you, is overdue. So here it is, from my heart to yours, from our hearts to yours, thank you, thank you. I heard one of you express sadness in an interview. You regretted that you hadn't done more, hadn't done better. You, you choked back the tears. You swallowed a lump. And you lamented that so many people had died from COVID on your watch. Oh, dear friend, I wanted to climb inside the TV screen and just hug that regret right out of you. Please, please hear me. You've done nothing for which to be sorry. You've done good, really good. In fact, you're the heroes. Society's gone wacky. Politicians have been tacky. And you... You've gone 12 rounds with a heavyweight virus, the likes of which we've never seen before. Yet you just keep throwing those punches. Knocked down on occasion, yes, but back up on your feet, always. You just keep climbing back into the ring. God bless you. God bless you. We can only wonder how many bodies have you loaded onto gurneys? How many times have you held phones near the ear of the sick. How many times have you held the hand of the dying because you simply couldn't bear the thought of someone dying alone? How many times? How many times have you collapsed into your bed at the end of the day or early in the morning in desperate need of sleep but utterly unable to sleep because of the images in your mind? How many? How many tests have you administered? How many masks have you worn? ER vehicles have you driven? Wheelchairs have you pushed? Trays of food have you filled? Hospital floors have you mopped? Life or death decisions have you made? You have no way of knowing. I know. You have no way of knowing. It's all a blur. It must be. You don't know, but I want you to know God does. God does. Tucked away in the book of Hebrews is a beautiful Bible verse. In it, the writer encourages his readers by saying, God is fair and he will not forget the work you did and the love you showed for him by helping his people. And he will remember that you are still helping them. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. Friend, God will not forget the work you did. You will. You don't have the luxury. Really, you don't have the desire to keep a list of your good deeds. But God does and God will. He will not forget. He will not forget the work that you did. Why? Because by helping them, you're loving Him. And your heavenly Father is taking note. We are too. 
And we are so proud of and grateful for you. And we need you. This is your hour. This is your Esther moment. Do you remember her story? She was the queen of Persia in a time that her people, the Jews, were under serious attack. Her uncle begged her to talk to the king, to put in a good word on behalf of her people. Who knows, he asked, if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. Who knows, my friend? Who knows? But that you have been placed right where you are for such a time as this. So as the numbers spike yet again, as the patients outnumber the beds yet again, as the demands outstrip the resources yet again, please know that there's a, a pastor in Texas who's pulling for you, who's praying for you, who's thankful for you. And I have a feeling that I speak for millions of others when I say thank you, thank you, thank you.